Hey everyone, it's Casey. So today I've got another update for you guys. Um, I have quite a lot of stuff. I have all of the stuff that um, you guys have seen in my last two um, hauls from Japan. I actually did not film the uh, haul and unboxing from stuff that I got from Korea recently. Um, I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm sort of on this mission to um, I don't know, update my binders, and then the next video is going to be a complete collection video. Um, I wanted to do it around um, mid-June, um, you know, for like their debut date. I don't know exactly which day that will be uploaded just because of, um, because of muster, <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and film that video, and then I'm going to start some videos about downsizing my collection, which is honestly, like, I'm ready for it, but I'm, I'm kind of sad about it. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I want to like get it over with and like move on. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess now that I've decided that I'm actually going to downsize, even though I've been talking about it for like a year now, um, I'm just ready to do it and like, like, let's just move on. <laughs> okay. So I have a lot of things to be put away. Um, and we're going to start with album photo cards and I have a lot of stuff actually, I think. So the first thing that I've got to put away, um, is JK's, um, Second Press, School of Affairs Special Edition. Um, since I am downsizing, I'm not going to be collecting Hungline for the Second Press. Um, yeah, I mean, I was sort of on the fence about it before, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm going to keep my First Press set. I, I really don't think, now that the Second Press came out, that people value the First Press like they used to, and like, I guess I understand that and everything, but, um, so I feel like it's not really worth it to get rid of these cards. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to collect Macne Line and Groot for these. And next we are going to finally be completing No More Dream, which is sort of bittersweet. Um, this is just one of those sets that I told myself um, a really long time ago that I was just going to wait to complete it. Like, <laughs> I remember seeing a price for the set, like $200, and I thought, oh, I'm, I bet it'll drop or something like that, and it just never did. Um, and now here I am. Oh, but yeah, I finally completed it. It looks really nice, but I do think that I'm probably going to be letting them go. Um, I'll probably keep my Line and group, but... Yeah, I do think that I'm going to be letting Hyungline go. Uh, uh, but it's okay. I, I feel like if I keep... I, I can't keep everything. Like, there are some sets in here that I will keep. Like, um, you know, like this first press. And some other things. But I can't just keep everything. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's really hard, but... I don't know. Okay, next I've got RM's uh, uh, Taiwan find on a postcard. So I actually do. Oh, okay. Um, I actually do think that I'm going to be, um, keeping these. I'm still missing half of them. So, um, yeah, but I do think that I'll be keeping these as a set or at least for what I have. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> okay. And then now I think we're moving on to B. Um, I actually sort of had like this breakthrough yesterday because I was like trying to decide. I made like a spreadsheet yesterday and everything of things that I really wanted or um, like how. That's an, that's another thing that kind of bothers me is like letting things go, but then um, things looking so out like like things not looking right. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I've never really had that problem because I've always collected OT7. So I don't know. It's just been. Uh, it's been a roller coaster, but anyway, I finally figured out how I'm going to, um, like, what I'm going to keep for B, and I feel really happy about it, I'm excited about it, but anyway, we, I, I'm going to rearrange this, I've seen other people do it, and actually I kind of like it, um, where they put both, um, both of the cards here, I'll show you, I don't know who started this, but I like it, <laughs> all right, let's see here, it sort of feels like kind of dumb because I'm like um, putting away a bunch of cards that I'm not going to be keeping and like I'm going to uh, be letting them go but um, like this month <laughs> but I don't know I do want to film my full collection video just so I can remember all of the things that I once had and once like 
really held dear. <laughs> um, it's not that these things aren't important to me anymore. <clears throat> it's just that it's just been really stressful. Um, and I remember um, like how excited I was when comebacks were announced and um, new merch was announced. And now it's just, now it just makes me crazy. Like I stress out about it so much. And I don't know, I just want to feel a lot better about it because I don't want to give up collecting like as a whole because I really do enjoy it. Um, to me, it like keeps me going in the fandom, like not going, but like, I don't know if that makes sense. It just helps me keep like stay up to date with things. And yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to be putting the two horizontal group cards in here as well. Okay, so we've got those. Um, okay, I think I want to also kind of rearrange these. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> I think I wanted to do pre-order first and then album press and then do all the lucky draws. So let's see. Yeah, I've got all of those here. order and then we've got the regular album cards and then we're going to start the lucky draws so I've got these already and uh, let me go ahead and put this mask thing here I guess I'll leave this in here I don't know it's like mask case or whatever yeah whatever <laughs> um, but I'm going to be putting uh, other lucky draws away let's see Yes. Okay, so I've got all of these essential lucky draws. Um, I'm just missing one, um, and two of mine are damaged. <laughs> uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw about that, but I'm just, oh, I'm so sad about it. Um, these cards are, they're like those, the thicker material, but I think with the heat or something, they're easily like, the image just comes off. So I'll do M to you first. So for the Grammys edition, I decided to only collect uh, Jigook and Group. So yeah, honestly, like I feel like this announcement was sort of like the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, I don't know. I was just like, I was so upset because, you know, not only are they doing another one plus a Japanese version, but they did it with the most expensive version that doesn't have anything random in it. You know, it's just... It still makes me upset. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure this is into you, and then I'll put sound wave at the bottom. Um, I really would like to collect Tays, but they're so expensive, like they're ridiculous, and the photos like themselves um, don't really help because they're beautiful. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Prices for the crayon versions aren't super bad. Um, they're like kind of normal, I guess, but the hollow ones are just outrageous. Um, and Tay is so expensive in Japan already, but so whatever. I I'm fine with this, um, but if I ever have the opportunity to buy Tay's, then maybe I will. Um, and then we have the hollow one, so um, I 
I have the other Korean version, I mean, I have the other um, group version, but it is with my friend in Korea. Um, so yeah, I will get that hopefully sometime this month. I'm honestly, I'm just waiting for some things to ship, like um, mustard stuff, but mostly like the Fila day and night stuff that they they announced like in the springtime and then they're like, oh, but we're not shipping this until June. <laughs> Part of me wants to collect an OT7 set for this, but my problem is that I really like the Stars Hollow <laughs> print better, but they're on this version, which I don't like as much. I like these photos better, so I don't know. For now, I just sort of like talked myself out of it. <laughs> um, okay. So I think that's it for B. I mean, my God, how much more could there could there be? Um, so let's flip through this. I really actually kind of like this. Yay! Okay, so we've got all of the album stuff done um yeah this binder i think is going to be so much smaller it makes me sad about you know letting things go but i think in, i'm hoping in the long run i feel a lot better about collecting like i i want to be not stressed i want to like collecting again and um you know there's definitely some other factors that go into it besides just who you collect and how you collect or whatever but I'm, I'm trying my best, okay? <laughs> okay, so next we're going to do um, some of what I call like official goods. So we'll do that next. Okay, so I've got my first goods binder here and, oh shit. And I have a few things to put away. All right, let's see. So I don't really know what to do with some of this merch, like them releasing things that have like their associate their association is with albums and songs and things but they're not part of the album so yeah i don't really know what to do with those um is my armypedia not in here oh yeah here it is okay so behind armypedia i'm going to be putting the um the pajama the bee pajama and the film viewer. So I think even the butter cardigan, I'm going to be putting in this binder as well. I don't know, it's sort of hard. They're just, they're just coming out with so much stuff. <laughs> but these cards are cute. I, I just hate that the quality is so awful. Like these are so flimsy. Okay, and then we've got the eco bag. Um, unit cards, put that there, and then next um, I will put the film viewer, okay. Hmm, okay wait, I, I guess for these, since they're already horizontal cards, I'm going to do it this way. I had like a moment there. <laughs> I really, really love these cards. And then I do have the group one as well. Um, okay, so the next stuff are pop-up things. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, first of all, I think for... Hmm, okay, even though I put this here, Oh, I hate this. Okay, um, because this was part of the first merch box. For the second merch box, they just did a photo card. Um, for right now, uh, um, I'm going to put it here with the pop-up stuff. Um, I think I will move it eventually because I think the third merch box actually comes with a set of photo cards. So then I can put this with it maybe um, and put it in its, in its proper place. <laughs> yeah, I I'm going to have to like get over, over all of that. Um, Okay, so I've got the first and last weeks of these pop-up tickets. Okay. 
Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit of a struggle. Um, but yeah, I do have all of the tickets now. And um, I'm going to put, I've got these. So I'm going to, I don't know which is, which goes with which or anything like that. Um, I think maybe I just wanted to put this other one on the back or something. Okay, and then here, um, I'm going to put this stuff here. Um, fuck, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I think it was at the Latte um, pop-up shops um, that they were doing like in Seoul, in Busan, in Guangzhou. Um, did they do one in Ilsan? To do in Daegu, um, but okay, so they had some like city specific merch, <laughs> like they had the tiny tan magnets, and um, so like Daegu had Tae and Yoongi, Busan had Jimin and uh, Jungkook. So um, I actually did get the magnet, I don't collect tiny tan stuff, um, but I don't know, I just had to get that. Um, so uh, the girl that I went through, um, she got me the postcard and the sticker set. And um, I think maybe I bought this sole postcard, I guess. Um, so the sticker set, I'm not, I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to put it on the back of this card. And then these postcards, uh, I'm just going to put it in here. Um, I don't, uh, I'm not really trying to collect all of these or anything, but having the Busan and Seoul ones were kind of neat. Um, okay, and then I've got um, two of these youth pre-order photos. Um, all right, so I've got one JK. I'll put here. And um, this group one, I'm just going to put it with Jimin so it can look, the page can look more complete. <clears throat> so I'm just missing uh, this last Jungkook one, and then I'm missing some other group and unit ones, um, but that's it for this binder. Um, my goal is to maybe just have one good binder after I like let some things go, um, but yeah. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so now we've got the second goods binder, and this one has more of the annual stuff. So first thing that I need to put away, finally I have it, is um, JK's 2014 summer package photo card. So now this is complete. Oh my gosh, I have waited so long to complete the set. <laughs> like, I think I bought my first one. It might have been, it was either Jimin or Tay, I think. And it was either late 2017 or like early 2018. Wow. It's taken me a really long time. Um, I don't think I'll be letting this set go. I don't know. They don't do sets like this super often, so I don't know. But then again, I'm thinking to let my 2007, uh, 2000, 2007, I'm thinking to let go of my 2017. Uh, I, I'm thinking just to keep Machne line. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, the next stuff is winter package. So I guess that will go in the very back. All right. So first, what I want to do is put the photo cards and then I might put these things next and then the film viewer or film strips. <laughs> I have not decided if I'm going to keep these winter package um, <clears throat> photo cards or not. Um, again, it's like they don't do them super often. Um, but now that they've started, they might keep doing it. They haven't done um, the booklets in a while, which were summer package and then the first winter package. So I don't know, they might be doing photo cards all the time now. Um, but yeah, there are certain sets where I'm like, okay, I don't really know what to do with you um, because of how I set everything up. Um, like the 2017 season's greetings, um, wings tour DVD, um, I keep um, I don't separate out my DVD and Blu-ray cards, so I, I don't know what to do with Wings Tour. I think I am going to let Hanline go. That's a cute set. <laughs> um, I don't know. I might like this side better, but whatever. 
all right we're going to do these things next um I don't know I don't love this side it's not wintry to me <laughs> So I'm trying to tell myself, okay, you can always let things go later. Like you don't want to regret letting something go. But at the same time, I don't want to keep things. I don't want to enable myself just to keep things. So yeah. Okay, then we've got that set. And now I'm going to be putting the film strips. So I just have Jigook. Um, for things like this, I mostly just collect Jigook anyway. I don't collect Tay. Okay. And then we've got the photo set. Um, so I'm going to do this a little bit out of order. Jen on top. I think this is how it goes. fit in here. I don't think it does. There we go. <laughs> okay. I mean, it really should be this paper, but whatever. I'll figure that out later. All right. And then we've got these things. Um, how did I want to set this up? Okay. So let's flip through all of it. hate it. <laughs> all right, so that's all the stuff that I had to put away in this goods binder. Um, I guess next would be concert merch, which I've got, I've got some stuff. So, okay. <laughs> next stuff is my first concert binder and I've got some things to put away. Okay. So the first thing though is something that I don't know, I just like impulse bought and it is an Arms Begins photo card. I have number two and this is number five. Um, I found a K seller that was basically just getting rid of a bunch of her, of her arm stuff. I decided to buy some of it. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be right there for right now. Um, all right, the next stuff is 17520. I don't know what to do here. I don't even remember how I wanted to set this up. Um, maybe I'll put these at the back. I was able to complete RM, RM set, Jimin set, and um, unit set. So I still haven't decided if I'm going to let RM set go just because I do like 17520. Um, I do like these cards, so I'm not really sure if that's something that I want to hang on to for now, um, and then just see how it goes. When I made my spreadsheet yesterday, I did put this on it, but I don't know. I really like his hair in this one. So I don't know. But anyway, I've got this set complete, and I have Jimin's set complete. I'm actually a little bit surprised I was able to complete Jimin's.
And then let's see what I have left. If I could find Tay Set for a good deal, I would keep it just because, I don't know, I love this card. And I really love how I had this set up before, just having that one OT7 set, kind of like I have Begins. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard. Um, now that I have Jimin set and the unit set complete, it is sort of like, well, I don't know what to do now. Okay, um, the next things are on stage photos. <clears throat> so I do, I, even though this is out of order, I think I want to keep this one here just because um, JK's unit with JK's photos. And then I have the other two as well. I guess I could have used a small two pocket page, but whatever. It's okay. All right. Um, then I have some third muster photos to put away. Um, I have Jimin number one. So Jimin's set is complete. Um, and then JK number two. This is number five. Okay. So I have three of JK's. I don't know if I will Maybe I'll try and get the other two. I don't really love his set. Um, these are the only like close up ones. And I don't know, I felt like Jimin had a lot of close up ones. So anyway. Okay, lastly in this binder, um, I've got some Wings Tour Final stuff. Um, so I've got JK number three and number six. So I'm only missing number one, which is exciting. exciting. I'm not collecting all these. That's, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, this is number four. Um, it would be nice to have all of the Namjiguk sets, um, cards, but it's whatever. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is, we're finished in this binder. Um, I'm still deciding on some things. Um, but I don't think I will be selling that much concert stuff um, in an auction. Concert stuff is so, unless it's older, um, it goes for so cheap. Like it's not even worth the time that it takes to auction. So anyway, moving on, we're going to do the second concert binder. All right, so we've got the second concert binder and I've got some things to put away in here. All right. Um, So I've got these ticket things that they gave out at 4th Muster and 4th Japan Fan Meeting. So I think I have enough to like fill up one page each. Okay. I'll put the Muster one here and then I guess I'll put the Fan Meeting one here. took way too long. Oh, okay. So yeah, a nice little addition. Um, I do finally have this last um, unit card that I needed to complete fourth fan meeting set. Yay. Um, okay, and now I've got fifth muster. Um, <clears throat> I have the three JK guestbook cards I was missing. So, I don't really like this, how it's going to be set up, but I don't really have a choice <laughs> uh, because I don't know where else to put these. Um, and I don't know, I like everything to 
stay with whatever event it was at. <gasps> oh no! Oh, okay, I have an extra one. Oh my god, I got... <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Ah! Oh, I had an extra number... I had an extra two card. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Whew. All right. I thought, oh my god, I didn't actually complete this. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to put these, what were these, with ticket holder or something like that? Um, the only thing is that at least they'll be like on a page by themselves because when they were with, when they were with JK's guest book set, I did sort of think, oh, this is like, I, I don't know, I never really saw them. I felt like they just kind of got lost, but now it's, I don't know. Okay, um, I got Helmline cards for, um, fifth fan meeting DVD, um, I will be letting these go. This is another like thing that I'm doing just <laughs> just for these videos, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm trying to only collect um, Magne Line for DVDs. And I will forever regret not getting Beeman earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to put the Blu-ray cards here. Um, so I do have Chiguk. Okay. And then for Speak Yourself, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put these. I guess over here with this stuff. Um, probably just put it after. It maybe should go in between, but whatever. Um, I've got this London Blu-ray stand that I thought was going to be so much bigger, and then this Sao Paulo um, pre-order benefit. That looks so dinky, but whatever. <laughs> okay, um, I think that that's it for this binder, and um, I do have some stuff for my third concert binder. Um, I actually had the <clears throat> the New Year's Eve live ticket um, and I didn't want to get out the binder just for that so I already put it away but then my Festa stuff, my Festa D-Day calendar came in the mail the other day so I already put all of this stuff away and that goes in my third binder so I will go get that now. <laughs> all right this is my third concert binder. This stuff will be going in the back. So I did put up my New Year's Eve live ticket. <laughs> all right. So that's the stuff I've already gotten all together. I don't remember which day goes with what though. And I had to open it all up the day I got it. <laughs> So we've got two sets of photo cards, and then we have these, which are like, almost like game cards or something. They're about the size of like the, um, maybe they're a little bit longer than the pass, no, not the passport, whatever the love yourself thing was, um, that they added photo cards to. Got these, and then these also look like game pieces, I don't know. Um, and then the bookmarks, I wasn't going to put all of these in here, but they actually fit in here and look okay. And I was able to consolidate them on just one page. And then we have the group and unit photos and the first day ticket. So, yeah. That's the stuff is really cute. I'm, I'm really going to be disappointed though if they don't have like a, um, if they don't do the family photo frame. And even the mood light that usually comes with photo cards, I'm not gonna lie, I will. This is like the one time I'm really asking um, because both of these, both of these sets are so cute. So I can only imagine like, you know, we, we saw all of the photos the other day. So I can only imagine how pretty that would be. <sighs> we can hope. Okay, 
Next, I'm going to do my collab binder. I've got a shit ton of stuff to put in there, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying not to ruin these, but I've got all this stuff to put. <gasps> okay, I've got all this stuff to put away. Shit, I just spilled it. The first photo cards I'm going to be putting away, I think, are these photo cards from like 2018 or maybe even before. Um, they are these cold brew. It was like when they first started to do the coffee thing. The after Coke. Okay. So we've got the, they're actually stickers and I think there were, there's also some other things, but um, like some other like postcards or something. I don't remember, but I've got the stickers here. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying I need to stop collecting collab merch and I just keep collecting it. <clears throat> and what's sad is I was like going through uh, my stuff and like to figure out why I'm letting go. And I feel like collab merch is the stuff that I'm letting go the least amount of stuff. Um, I don't know. It, I feel like people don't care about it. So I don't want to let something go for like a dollar. <laughs> um, and you know endorsements only last so long so <clears throat> so for example if i were to only collect magnet line for these there's there's nothing else so it's like i would just have a page with just these three so why not have a page with all of them and like coke kind of the same thing even though there were two sets but but it's like these endorsements end so i don't know <laughs> All right, um, next though is the icon. All right, I think, I think I have three pages worth. All right, so first I'm going to put the OT7 set away. I really wish that I could have had, could have gotten all of them, but I, I literally, the group version, the group photo book, is sitting on the floor in my office because I don't have anywhere to put it. Um, I put the member ones away, the Magnet Line ones, just because they weren't in a box. But yeah, I I just don't have any room. Okay, so I'm putting. Um, I wanted to keep this set together, and then for the rest. Um, I think I just wanted to do three and three. take hard it's just <clears throat> I know some people might think that Tay is weird but I just think that he is so unique and like sees the world differently and I don't know I just love that about him um I've mentioned this before um my husband he reminds me a lot of my husband sometimes like lately he I feel like you don't see that part of him as much um like that <laughs> Like the the guy that gets lost in another country, like does he doesn't? <laughs> I don't know. And like he doesn't even care that he got lost. Um, I feel like you don't see those parts of him as much anymore. Um, but those those moments they really remind me of my husband. <laughs> okay, and then I'm putting the um, the group ones at the bottom. Um, I have not gotten any of the like pre-order benefits from any of the stores. But yeah, I think this looks good. All right, I guess I found one that they were like giving in, um, was it Rose Bowl? I feel like I got one of these at Rose Bowl. I'm gonna put it all the way at the bottom. Um, okay, Lemona. All right, 
I wanted to put it before this just because it's sort of like a member specific thing. I'm so excited that those fit like that. <laughs> okay, LG is next. I am so, so happy that I finally have this one. I would love to have the group one, but I'm not going to push it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have these. Okay. Um, all right, puzzle stuff is next. Okay, I am going to have to cut these or something. Okay, sorry, I had to have like an intense arts and crafts session really quick. <laughs> okay, so I think I mentioned it before. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be collecting um, the other puzzles that they're going to come out with. They did come out with some for Dynamite and Loki, I really want magnet lines, but I just need to have this, this set and just be done with it. <laughs> All right, um, last thing in here are some tea money cards. Um, let's see. These are the new mirror ones, so they're really pretty with photos from B. And I ended up getting Macne line. Honestly, I should not be collecting Tay for these, but. just so pretty um yeah I don't know because I've, I was collecting Tay for these ones I don't know but they are really really beautiful okay so I think that's it so I've um, got a few things to put away in my rare binder oh my gosh all right let's see here um me downsizing I'm really trying not to touch this binder um, part of me is like, man, you should let some of this stuff go. Like, um, I think I saw Courtney put, um, like these, these, and these on the same page. And that kind of looked nice because she was doing, I think, OT3. Um, but I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Okay. So first I have this last, whatever the hell this is have all of them now um, and then I don't know where I should put these okay I've got <clears throat> both of these this is from the dark and wild showcase mine is severely damaged but it's okay I've still got it <laughs> and then I don't remember what they gave this for this is um, the photo shoot from third army kit but this was an army booth type of thing um, so I'm not really sure where to put it. Um, maybe I could put it here. Okay, broadcast cards. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of rearranging. I'm going to put my I need you cards here. I did find RM's War of Hormone. So, since I have him for I Need You, um, yeah. I will put him here. Um, let's see. I had like a specific order that I wanted to do. Okay, I think <clears throat> because I don't have any of the dope cards for right now. I'm going to move run up. Do you have Namjin Fire broadcast cards? So I'm going to put these here. I also have Tays. Um, I'm I'm considering letting um, these go. I'm not sure. Okay. 
And then I have Namjoon's DNA Bunya version. I've also been like kind of wondering what I should do with these. DNA was my first official comeback, so um, I don't know, I was trying to do both versions for each member, but I don't know. Um, I also have Yoongi's Fake Love photo card. So now we've got them all. Um, I do think I'm going to be letting go of these. Um, I'll keep these, I guess, but I'm probably going to let these go. Um, Idol just, I don't know. I, I don't love these cards at all. Um, all right. Oh, I think I put these in here and I didn't because I didn't tell you guys. Um, I was trying to like find a way to put both of these cards, so I just put them like this. Um, I guess I forgot to take them out. Okay. Um, last thing are these lights um, winning things. I don't know what to call them. Um, I'm not sure if I'll let Jens go or not um, because Loki, I kind of want OT7 for this, but, but I don't know. I would just hate to let his go and then regret it, so that's the only thing. So now I do have vocal line though, and it looks really nice. I do wish these were, I, I wish they were all vertical or all horizontal, but not a mix of both. Um, but yes, I'm really happy to have these. And so I think we're done. Okay, so that is it for today's update. Um, I think it went pretty smoothly. Um, today is Friday the 4th, um, so I'm really hoping to edit this and get it up tomorrow. Oh, I really hope I can do that, but um, yeah, I would really like to get this update video up, and that way I can go ahead and start filming my uh, my photo card collection. Um, it'll be the full thing. There is an entire binder that you guys have never seen, um, and that's because it has just Onul exhibition stuff and Armypedia stuff, um, just not those like puzzle photo cards, but um, all of like the Armypedia sets. I do have all of that stuff, um, but it is in a completely separate binder, um, and it actually sits on my shelf because it's, it's not like this kind of binder. Um, it's sort of a special one. Actually, it's just really heavy and really big and I just hate that thing but um, I actually got it while I was in Korea. Um, but anyway, this is like technically the last update that I'll be doing before I start letting things go. Um, so my plan is to, um, after I get this video up, I'm going to be doing my full collection video and then I want to do, I'm thinking two videos on me going through all of my binders and taking things out. And because I feel like those videos are going to be me talking a lot, um, my collection video, I think I'm just going to not talk at all, um, just have some music. Um, I don't know, it really, <laughs> this is just my preference, but I really don't like watching collection videos where people are, <laughs> like the whole time they're like, oh, like, look at this one, or, like, if they have a blank space, they're like, oh, this one, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, that's, like, completely personal preference, but personally, because I don't like to watch it, things like that, um, I think I just want to do a binder tour, like, without me talking, because the next few videos, I'll be talking a lot, <laughs> um, and, yeah, those videos are going to be a little bit sad, um, I hope that they won't be, I hope I can, like, control myself so that I'm not too upset while I'm doing it. But honestly, um, there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, I've pretty much decided about things that I'm going to be letting go and things that I'm going to end up keeping. And honestly, I'm just like really excited to be done with, um, with all of that. Like, I want to set up my binders how they'll be from now on, and I want to have everything sold and all that stuff so I don't really have to be worrying about, you know, an auction and selling things and trade. Uh, some things I do like want to try and trade them. Um, it will be a long and sort of a difficult process, but um, I'm just ready for it. I'm ready to feel good about collecting and, and I don't know, like just trying to move forward from this um, because I have been so stressed out. Um, like honestly, the past <sighs> two years, I guess, um, <clears throat> or a year and a half. Um, but yeah, I'm just ready to move on. And, um, I don't know from now on, like how, um, 
how many videos I'll be putting out. I mean, I know I'm not like putting out a bunch of videos now, but um, since I am going to go from collecting seven members to like two to three, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit different, but I hope that you guys um, stay and um, continue to watch um, my collection change. Um, honestly, it really means a lot to me when I see comments um, they're, they're really comforting um, when I talk about how stressed out I've been and how unhappy I've been and when people comment and say that, you know, they, even if they're just saying like, I hope it gets better for you or um, yes, I've heard that things in the community have, have changed. It just is, is really comforting and I just want to thank anybody that has reached out or said anything like that. Um, it really, even if I don't express um, to each and every one of you um, how much it means to me. It really does me a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so that's the plan. I'm going to hopefully get this video up tomorrow, maybe Sunday, um, but hopefully tomorrow. And then I'm going to be working on filming my, my complete photo card collection. And then I'm going to be doing videos about downsizing. I'm going to go through each binder um, and basically just be pulling stuff out. And, and then I don't think I will be doing um, an updated collection tour until maybe the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it, it really, really does mean so much to me. And yeah, I hope that you guys will stay with me on this, on this journey. And, um, and if you don't, that's okay. But, um, I want to thank you guys for staying as long as you have. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. A lot of people have been asking for a full collection tour. So, um, I'm finally going to be doing it. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.